that despite the best efforts of councils and uh, health bodies to integrate care locally, in actual fact there is quite a lot of fragmentation and that can cause things to go badly wrong and when they do it has quite a significant impact on the people involved. So obviously a number of complaints about the current system. Is it something that could be easily tinkered with, easily, easily changed? Uh, well, I, I think you'd have to put that question to the councils and the NHS themselves. But certainly what we're trying to do from the Ombudsman's point of view is to uh, call for bodies locally to make it easier for people to make their voices heard and to make complaints in a, in a seamless way. Uh, uh, clearly one of the key issues here is lack of coordination. And the report today really could just have been called uh, working better together because we're seeing a lack of information. Uh, often people working in the particular organisations don't themselves understand who is responsible and who is paying. Uh, and that's no good if it means that the complainant is having to pick up the pieces. Yeah, we can easily see why that would be an issue. I mean, you've been involved in a local government ombudsman since 2010. So you've been there for a while. Has it been getting worse in that time? Certainly we've seen an increase in social care complaints. Uh, we issued a report earlier in the year setting that out. Um, uh, and we have seen an increase in these more complex cases. Uh, and it's clear that although uh, there is greater integration in the system, there is also uh, complexity. And when you have more than one body involved, uh, then clearly things can go badly wrong. And the, re the cases that we highlight in the report show issues like when people are transitioning from hospital to home care, uh, when they have complex disabilities, uh, then it's difficult for them to sometimes get the person-centered care that they need. Getting bodies to work together better is something which it, uh, um, you know, so many uh, organisations face problems with that. I mean, the draft public service ombudsman bill is currently under consultation. Uh, are, you, are you able to hear me anymore? Have, have, you, have you gone completely? I think we've, we've sadly lost Jane. Jane, if you can hear me, if you just pop your earpiece back in, you'll be able to... There we go. Hold on a second. We've, we've connected. Can you hear me again, Jane? <laughs> I can hear you. I'm sorry Excellent. about that. Excellent. OK, you can do a bit of a David Coleman impression for the last one. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was, gonna, I was mentioning to you about uh, big organisations and how it can be difficult sometimes to organise and, and talk amongst uh, you know, those different sort of strands. The draft public service ombudsman bill is currently under consultation. We're talking here about a, a more joined up approach, but the, the ombudsman service probably suffers from the same problems, doesn't it? Well, it, it has done, and that's why we want these changes to be made. Uh, we're, we're already doing as much as we can between our two organisations, as I said, to join up uh, the service that we give to the public. Uh, but we are aware that there's still too much complexity in the system, and that's why uh, we've been calling for one public service ombudsman, and we're very pleased that that's now government policy, and we have draft legislation uh, which will be consulted on over the next few weeks. Uh, we believe that we will offer a better service to, uh, to the public if we can have one place that they can come to for, uh, particularly around these health and social care complaints which are causing so much difficulty at the moment. Jane, thank you very much for that. And you, you can put sound engineer on your CV now as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Have a good Christmas.